Disney Plus prices are changing. On December 8th, Disney Plus will introduce an ad-supported plan that will cost $7.99 per month. Currently, Disney Plus doesn't have ads on its streaming platform, and at time of filming, it costs $7.99 per month. This has led to some confusion for current subscribers. Some of you have reached out to us to ask what will happen to your plan. We looked online, including at what Disney has said publicly about what will happen to current subscribers when the ad plan and no ad plan are introduced on December 8th, and we couldn't find anything. So we reached out to Disney Plus customer service to get answers. We'll share what we learned with you, including what you can expect as a Disney Plus subscriber over the coming weeks. Let's start with a quick recap of what's changing on December 8th. In August, Disney announced that a new ad-supported Disney Plus subscription tier would launch on December 8th. As we covered in our Hulu Live price increase video, it will also change the plans and prices of the Disney Bundle and Hulu Live. Disney Plus specifically will have two plans beginning on December 8th. It will offer a basic plan with ads for $7.99 a month and a premium plan without ads for $10.99 a month or $109.99 a year. There will be no annual option for ad-supported Disney+. Plus. Now what happens if you currently subscribe to just Disney+. Plus? That's what we reached out to Disney Plus customer service to verify. As you can see, we asked what happens to subscribers who just have Disney Plus right now when the new plans roll out on December 8th. And Disney responded by saying, quote, Beginning November 3rd, existing Disney Plus subscribers can choose to switch to the basic with ads plan. Those who do not will remain in their current subscription and will be charged the new price change as of their next billing cycle on or after December 8th, end quote. The rep also shared that current subscribers will receive an email when the date comes asking if you would like the basic plan or the no ads plan and that, quote, you will be getting this information soon before the prices increase, end quote. We don't know exactly when that email will arrive, but be on the lookout for it because as we'll show next, if you don't do anything, you will automatically be enrolled in the no ads plan for $10.99 a month, if on a monthly plan. Yeah, we went on to verify with the rep that if you do nothing, you will be automatically enrolled in the no ads plan, asking, quote, what if I don't make a choice? Then what happens? And the rep said, quote, if you don't change anything, what will happen is that your plan will continue with no ads and the price increase will be $10.99 plus taxes, end quote. If you're on an annual plan with Disney Plus, you can expect to receive an email with your renewal showing you the then current price of an annual premium plan, asking if you want to renew for that or switch to a monthly with ad subscription. On December 8th, the price for an annual premium subscription to Disney Plus will be $109.99. So to wrap up, what should you do? Watch your email for a message from Disney Plus about your subscription sometime in the next six weeks, asking if you want to stay in a no ad plan for $10.99 per month, or if you want to switch to an ad supported plan for $7.99 per month. If you opt for a basic subscription, your price won't change, but you will start seeing ads on Disney Plus. Disney has said it plans to keep ads to four minutes per hour, which is shorter than other ad supported on demand streaming services notably Hulu. And it has said that it won't air ads for alcohol or politics. Our recommendation is to try the ad supported or basic Disney Plus plan for a few months. If it's anything like HBO Max's ad supported experience, you won't mind the ads. As we covered in our video, comparing the ads and no ads versions of HBO Max, HBO's approach to ads has been pretty good. The ads aren't in HBO originals, they don't often repeat, and they don't interrupt content too often. See if you can live with the ads in the Disney Plus basic plan to avoid the price increase. If you hate them, you can always bump up to the premium level for an extra $3 per month. Yeah, but we do not recommend signing up for the annual plan. That locks you into a year of service, which you could potentially be disappointed by during the year and then find yourself stuck. Disney doesn't have as much new content coming out as other platforms like Netflix or HBO Max. I'm a huge Disney nerd, and I've even moved to waiting for the series I really want to see, like Mandalorian, finish their new seasons. Then I sign up for Disney Plus for one month, binge everything I've been waiting to watch, and cancel. As long as streaming services give us that option, it only makes sense to take it. 
the only time we would recommend signing up for the annual plan with Disney Plus is if you're currently a monthly subscriber and know you love the service and want to continue watching it ad-free for the next year. If that's you, then switching before December 8th would take your monthly cost down to $6.67. That's because the current annual cost of a Disney Plus subscription is $79.99. After December 8th, the price jumps up $30 and isn't worth it in our opinion. This small window of savings applies only to people who aren't currently subscribers or who are current monthly subscribers. If you're already on the annual plan and your plan renews after December 8th, you will either renew at the higher cost automatically or have to choose a monthly option. We'll continue to monitor the rollout of the new Disney Plus plans and how they communicate about them to keep you in the know. Well, that does it for this video. Let us know what you'll be doing on December 8th in the comments below. Will you be signing up for the basic plan with ads to save money, or will you pay more to keep your Disney Plus experience ad-free? And if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can get all our latest news and reviews when they drop. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.